Hello everyone, my name is Vladimir Budaev and I am a Buryat. Buryats are an ethnic minority group in Siberia, Russia. In this video, I'd like to tell you about Buryats Against the War campaign. <laughs> It all started when the world as a new ended, when Russian missiles started to shell peaceful cities and kill civilians, when Putin invaded an independent country of Ukraine. The Kremlin regime requires Russian citizens to call this catastrophe a special operation. If someone in Russia says it's a war, the government puts this person in prison for 15 years. I'm not in Russia right now, so I will use this privilege to tell people the truth. I aim against this brutal war. When the full-scale operation of Ukraine was unleashed by Putin's Russia, I went to protest in DC, wrote posts on social networks, and tried to convince people in Russia that this war needs to be over as soon as possible. However, I felt that it's not enough. So I connected with my Buryat friends, who lives outside of Russia, and we agreed to make a video against the war. Russia first invaded Ukraine in 2014. It annexed the Crimea and attacked eastern Ukraine. Even then, there were soldiers from my native region, Republic of Buryatia. With our first video, we tried to show not all Buryats support Putin's war for his distorted Russian world. We were worried that we would be accused by in-country Buryats, that we can speak on their behalf and that they all support the war against Ukraine. However, we received thousands of messages thanking us for the video and people were saying they can breathe now. Many other Buryats in exile contacted us and said they want to be recorded for the next video. So we recorded the second one. Moreover, we learned there are Buryats living in Ukraine or who fled Ukraine because of the war. They also asked us to give them a chance to speak, so we recorded the third video Ukrainian Buryats against the war. Putin justifies this war by saying that the Nazis seized power in Ukraine and that he is denazifying it. With our video, we showed that Asian minorities who in Ukraine never faced any racism there. On the contrary, we, representatives of various ethnic minorities, constantly faced racism and xenophobia in Russia. I lived in Russia's capital Moscow for eight years and I was humiliated, bullied and harassed because of my non-Slavic look almost every day. I'm not the only one, all Asians in Russia face the same discrimination all the time. Which is weird and unfair, as there are more than 200 various ethnicities living in Russia. We quickly grew out of a grassroots campaign and officially registered a non-profit called Free Buryatia Foundation. Our mission is to advocate for those who can't speak under the current Putin's regime in Russia. We are against the war with Ukraine. We are for the residents of Buryatia to find a decent job in their republic and not to be forced to join the army because of total poverty and unemployment. We are against racism, xenophobia and chauvinism. We are against the fact that Asian minorities in Moscow and St. Petersburg are insulted all the time. Naturally, other representatives of Asian minorities of Russia began to contact us. We share our experience with them and help them with their campaigns. We believe that the more Russians of various ethnicities in country or exiled speak against the war and the bigger the anti-war movement is, the faster we can stop this insane war. Of course, our ultimate goal is to make Russia free and democratic, because while Putin's regime is in power, it will never be safe in the world.